What's up, YouTube? Thanks for tuning back in for part two of the motorcycle fairing I painted. And here are some color samples I did to try to do the color match for it for the customer. So here, my first step was getting this thing sanded down. Uh, the customer did have this on for a couple years just with the gel coat. Um, and I didn't notice till I sanded, but you can see all these little pitting marks. Um, I'm assuming those are rock chips that kind of dented the gel coat. Um, so after I'd saw those, um, since I use Createx, um, they have an auto-born sealer. It's not like a filler primer. Um, it's said it's not intended for filler primer. So I use some rattle can filler primer from the auto parts store here in town. Um, and I got it covered in primer and then sanded down all smooth. Took care of all those little dents and chips. Um, so after that, I came in with my auto and sealer by Createx. Um, I did, this was gonna be a two-tone fair, fairing here. And the first um, base coat that I'm doing actually is with a black sealer. Um, I just decided to do the whole thing in black for now. Um, the second color that I had to paint on here, um, I actually used a different sealer coat. Um, but yeah, I was applying here. I think this was my third and final coat of the sealer. And then I did forget to take some footage, but I did come in with my first color. It was the top color. It was the darker blue of the two. Um, I didn't do any taping off or anything. I just painted down past, you know, my, uh, my split where I was going to split the two colors. Um, I just kind of faded it down below. Um, that way, you know, I could just tape off um, that upper blue, darker blue color that I was planned on painting here um, and then I could just come in tape it off and then on the bottom part of it um, I'd come in with my sealer color over this sealer black and do the lighter blue um, but once I got this all painted up dried and got my base coat down which I didn't have footage of I was adjusting my tape and it peeled off but everything else looked good. I did adhesion tests all over it, so I decided to check the rest of the paint here just to see what it looked like. This is my final wipe, which simulates clear coat. Um, I was happy with it, so I patched it up. And then after I fixed it again, I taped it off some more again, and it peeled a whole bunch. So I had to redo it again. At this point, I was really frustrated, didn't know what to do. I had called up Createx and talked to them. Uh, they said they would get rid of all that rattle can primer because their products do not do good with anything in rattle cans. So if you use Createx, highly suggest not using any rattle cans with it. Just stick with Createx. Uh, they told me to get rid of it all and if I needed to use it as a filler primer I could you know hit it with three or four coats let it dry sand it back with 800 and you can actually hit it again two or three more times repeat that process and actually use it as a filler primer it's a really strong um, thin product too so um, you just have to build it up and do multiple sessions if you want to use it as a filler primer so but after I had got this all sanded down I had exposed a bunch of uh, the air holes, pinholes in it, so I had to fill it in with some fiberglass. And since I had more fiberglass out and I was handling this thing a bunch, I noticed a bunch of weak spots around this thing. So on the back side, I, you can see I did some patching. And then this is that corner that was the customer actually dropped it when he took it off and broke that corner. So I had fixed that. Now here I am on taping again. I didn't get any footage of me you know painting any of this but i did uh you know paint that top and then i just kind of taped off the split on that bottom part i mixed a, a white and blue auto -born sealer to give me like a light blue color for the base and then i mixed up a candy pearl base for that bottom color um, and then i just taped off after i had those two colors painted I just taped off this graphic split here and I used the Quicksilver gold plating with this um, so that top color I guess I didn't tell you what that is that is I guess if you saw my last video when I painted the back that is the matching color to the back of this it's uh, midnight blue sparkle essence 
by Createx mixed with Purple Candy 2O, um, and then some Hot Rod Sparkle White and Hot Rod Sparkle Blue mixed in with it as well. And then that bottom color is Createx Pearl Blue mixed with some Candy uh, Carib Blue. But yeah, here I am untaping very slowly, very nervously. But as you can see, it's just pulling clean. I had zero adhesion problems after using Createx all the way through on this. So, so big shout out to Createx for helping me through this. And to any of you out there that use Createx, do not mix Createx with any other products, um, except obviously your 2K clear coat. But yeah, after I had this done, I figured it was time to get it in the booth. I used some Createx UVLS clear coat, and I did three coats of that on here, three light coats of it on here, just to kind of lock this down um, and get it ready for my artwork. And I got some sun that next day. I let it dry overnight. Um, got it out in the sun. Just wanted to check my colors and give it a good look over. And then I busted out the final wipe as well um, to give myself simulate the clear. but I had a lot more work to do, a lot more painting to do on this. Um, and with all the problems I had, I was running behind on my schedule as well um, with the customer. I wanted to get it back to him. I actually did get it back to him about a week later than I had expected. Um, he wasn't in any hurry, um, but he did um, have a, a trip planned about a week and, and a half or so after problem. I got it back. All right. him, so. I did send him pictures of the school. I said, it's kind of plain. What's that? It's a gold red eye. He came in here with some, it, some, 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 some opaque illustration so, uh, red at first. You know, we're trying and filled in the eyes. He came in with some pearl white in the center. Kind of gave him a glow. And then I came in with some blood red candy. I didn't get any footage of it, but he wanted. customer also wanted to add some stuff. He wanted some smoke. Coming out of the, out of the skull's mouth on there, and that was kind of something we talked about in the beginning. Um, I gave him some sample, showed him some examples of it, and he liked it. So, and he wanted to add some more to it too. Um, I told him we could do some like ghost skulls in the bottom with the, some flames just kind of trailing off of them, and he thought that was a really good idea too. Added those, and he absolutely loved it. Um, here it was after the first session of clear coat. 
Um, I did sand it down um, with some 800, um, and then I did flow coat it as well. Um, and then uh, here, here you can see I came in with 1500 grit first. As you can see, when I did flow coat it, I got tons of fish eyes. I'm not really sure why I got some, but I did actually come in with some clear coat, that, um, mixed some up, and I actually took a Q-tip and dabbed it in, in all those little fish eye spots. Um, and then I did denib those, flatten them down, and then I came back in here with the 1500 garret um, and sanded those down and took care of all the fish eyes there. Um, I did miss recording, but I did hit it with 2000 grit before I did come in with the 3000 grit Trizac, as you can see here. And uh, once you do hit it with the 3000 grit Trizac, you should start seeing that sheen. You can see a lot of that sheen and shine starting to come back already. I mean, never used Trizac before. You know, this was my first time. Um, and I did buy the 5000 pad as well. I mean, it did make quite, I don't know if you can tell on camera here, but it did make quite a bit of a difference um, in the sheen. A lot more of that shine was coming back here. So um, that was my very first time actually using any 3M sanding pads. Um, I figured it's my first motorcycle, so it deserves the good stuff. And he is a, a friend as well that I grew up with too. So, so it was time after the 5,000 um, Trizac come in here and do my cutting and buffing. I've only used one polish ever, and that is the CSI Ceramics Polish. Um, I can't say, I don't know, I would never use anything else. This product is amazing. Here, I'm doing a real time here. Um, just showing you with my cheap Harbor Freight polisher here. Uh, like a 20 or 30, $20, I think it was a $20 polisher. But as you can see, how quick just the wool pad is bringing back the shine if you're not familiar with csi ceramics polish it is a water-based polish it is a one step or it is a you know there's only one polish um, it's just two steps you take a wool pad and then a foam pad um, so no buying separate products you just need the two pads and that is it as you can see here with this wool pad it's just taken out you know, any sanding scratching marks, which I didn't really have any with the Trizac, but as you can see, the shine just comes back like nothing. I'm just on the real, on the lowest speed possible on the, on the buffer here too. Um, this product, this stuff just works amazing. Um, and if you're like me, have glass.